Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this video, I'm gonna show you my workflow for fixing the pitch and the timing of vocals in a pop track by using Revoice Pro. Right, let's get to it. All of the tracks have been recorded in Pro Tools, but before we start, let's have a quick listen to the before and after the vocals have been fixed with Revoice Pro. Oh, As you can hear, there are a few pitch and timing issues. So let's get the files out of Pro Tools into Revoice Pro. Now there are videos on the Synchro Arts website that will show you exactly how to do this for your choice of DAW. Now we've got the files inside Revoice Pro, what I wanna do is to set up my groups. Now the reason I'm gonna be doing this is because I want my screen to be uncluttered. So within the groups, what we can do, we can hide and mute and solo. So it just leaves your screen uncluttered. For me, it just helps me work more efficiently. First of all, I'm going to highlight all of my double track vocals. I've got some chorus doubles here and some high doubles here. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can either highlight the tracks and then just drag them over to the groups here. Now we can rename this. Let's call this chorus dubs. So as I said before, we can do things like hide them, we can mute them, and we can also solo them. So just for the moment, just so I know what I'm working with on the screen, let's just hide them. Right, the next thing I'm gonna do is to get all of my BVs. Now, I've got two sets of BVs. I've got Abby's BVs, which I'm calling BVL and BV right, and I've also got some male BVs as well. So there's another way that I can make groups as well. If I right click up here and I choose Manage Track Groups, now this window pops up and it works just like the Pro Tools Group Manager works. So I'm gonna create a new group, and let's call this BVs. So now all I have to do is to highlight all the tracks that I wanna send into that group and click Add and choose OK. Right, again, I can hide them. So now I'm left with what's left on the screen, which are my lead vocals and the actual track. So let's create another group and let's call this lead vocals. And I'm gonna copy these two tracks in, click Add and choose OK. Now I'm just left with the backing track that I imported in with the vocals. Now, if we just wanna to listen to the track, I can mute all of these groups here and just listen to the track. So let's start with the lead vocals. So let's unmute them and unhide them as well. Let's tune the lead vocal. I can right click on the region and choose make walk region, or I can choose a shortcut, which is the W key. Now I'm gonna expand this track to full screen by clicking on this little icon here. So as you can see, now we've got a full screen of the whole vocal. Now if I use my T key, I can zoom out here so I can see a more detailed view. I'm gonna tune the whole lead vocal in one go. I'm gonna select all the notes by choosing Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC. And if I push the K key, the correct pitch control appears. So let's tune all these vocals to about 90%. I'm also gonna use the smooth join function as I want all the transitions to be seamless and transparent. So if I right click and choose select all notes and smooth joins. The red line is the original pitch of the notes and the white line is where they've been tuned to. And let's have a listen back. Think you're the big guy, thinking you're too fly, but as soon as things get serious. Now there's a couple of notes that I need to adjust, so let's bring this note up. Mm. Soon as things get serious, you're acting so delirious. But you went ahead with me anyway. You are steady, take a lesson from me. And I'm just going to tune this note up as well. Now I'm just going to go ahead, listen to the whole vocal, and I'm just going to adjust any individual notes that need a bit of tweaking. Now we've tuned the vocal, I'm going to start to look at de-essing the vocal. Revoice Pro has a fantastic way of dealing with S's. And as opposed to how you'd normally de-ess by using a de-essing plugin, the way that Revoice Pro works is that you can control all of your S problems at a note level. If I press the S key, it brings up the energy profile of the audio. The unpitched areas are in pink and the pitched areas are in purple. Let's have a listen to this part of the song. But you went ahead with me anyway. You are steady. Take a lesson from the stage, baby. And let's solo that track. But you went ahead with me anyway. You are steady. Take a lesson from mistakes, baby. The way that Revoice Pro shows you that they're S's is by colouring them in pink. 
I can then bring down all the levels of the individual S's independently. And let's do this one as well. And this one as well. Now let's have another listen to that. But you went ahead with me anyway. You are steady. Take a lesson from mistakes, baby. And let's bring this one down as well. But you went ahead with me anyway. You are steady. Take a lesson from mistakes, baby. And let's hear that in the track. But you went ahead with me anyway. You are steady. Take a lesson from mistakes, baby. And as you can hear now, these S's are far more controlled. Now that I've fixed the tuning and I've de the lead vocal, what I'm gonna do now is to time align the backing vocals with the lead vocal. So let's close out the full screen mode and let's open up the BVs again by pushing the V button. Right, let's unmute them. Right, now let's play the track so you can hear the problems. Think you're the big guy, thinking you're too fly, but as soon as you get serious, you're acting so delirious. Thinking you're something, but telling you something. Every time you break a heart, it puts you right back to the start. So the problems are we've got a couple of tuning problems and the backing vocals in places are out of time with the lead vocal. So let's set up a quick playback range. I need to set up a new process and I can do that by either pushing the B key or I can right click under the vocal. And I'm gonna choose APT. An APT or audio performance transfer enables the timing, pitch, vibrato and level features of one audio source to be applied to other tracks in seconds. Now I'm gonna use the audio performance transfer function to transfer the timing and the pitch of the lead vocal, which we set as the guide to the backing vocals. Now I'm gonna make sure the lead vocal is chosen in the guide and the dub is the first BV, which is BVL. Okay, let's go down to create multiple processes as I want to process both BVs. I'm gonna choose two here. Right, let's choose a preset. Now the vocal slightly loose time and pitch is an amazing preset which works really well for this sort of situation. Now, all I need to do is to tell Revoice Pro where to process. So I'm gonna choose the selected playback range. So it's only gonna process the audio in this range up here. And let's choose new process. As you can see, it's created two new output tracks. Right, let's close this window. Let's mute the BVs up here and let's play that back. Thinking you something, but I'm telling you something. Every time you break a heart, it puts you right back to the start. So that's taken all the pitching and the time from the lead vocal and it's applied it to the backing vocals. And this is why Revoice Pro is such a time-saving tool. Right, next I'm gonna process this area up here, but as you can see, there's some gaps. Let's delete this range here. Let's unmute the BVs and have a listen. You are ready, but you went ahead with me anyway. You are steady. Now, as you can see, there's gaps in between these vocals, but Revoice Pro can handle that as well. So let's set up another playback range. Let's zoom in a bit. And I'm going to choose this range here. Again, I'm going to choose an audio performance transfer. And this time for a preset, I'm going to go to factory presets and I'm going to choose gaps in dub, slightly loose time and pitch, as there are gaps in this vocal. And let's choose new process. Now, because these are a harmony and all I want to do is transfer the timing of the lead vocal, I'm going to click on the region and choose the P key. Now this brings up my control panel and I can take off pitch and let's close that. And also let's do the same for this track as well. Right, let's mute the old BVs. And let's hear that. You are ready, but you went ahead with me anyway. You are steady. Now, even though there's gaps in between these words, we've applied the timing from the lead vocal to the BVs. Now we've got one more section to deal with, and that's the chorus. Let's push the V button so we can view all of the tracks. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tracks that I want to apply an audio performance transfer from the lead vocal. But let's have a quick listen first to hear the problems. Oh big boy, you really went and broke my heart. I'm no toy. And now we're satellites apart. You got some growing up to do. Had a lucky escape from you. Oh big boy, you got a tiny, tiny heart. So as you can hear, there's a couple of timing problems and a little bit of pitch as well. So I'd like to apply the tuning and the timing again from the lead vocal to all of the backing vocals there. I'm gonna click underneath the lead vocal and choose a new APT. Now this time, as there's seven vocals, I'm gonna choose seven down here. 
And let's keep it on the vocal slightly loose time and pitch as I want to take the timing and the pitch from the lead vocal, as I said, to all of the backing vocals. Now, as you'll notice in those backing vocals, there's also a male vocal as well. And we're going to process everything at the same time. So my guide is going to be the lead vocal again. The dub is going to be the lead vox high chorus. So that's the first one underneath my lead vocal, which is there. I'm going to make sure that we've chosen the selected playback range as I only want to process in between these two markers here. And lastly, I'm going to select new process group. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because if I want to make any changes in the future, it will affect all of the output vocals and choose new process. OK, let's close that window. Let's mute all of the vocals that we've created an output for. And let's hear that back with the track. Oh, big boy, you really went and broke my heart. I'm no toy. And now it's satellites apart. You've got some growing up to do. Had a lucky escape from you. Oh, big boy. You've got a tiny, tiny heart. Now I can show you why I set up that process group. If I push the P key, which opens up the control panel, now all the adjustments that I make to the APT affect the whole group. Let's just tighten up the timing even more. And as you can see, it's processing all of the output vocals at the same time. Now there's one more bit that I just want to re-look at. Let's play the lead vocal with the two doubles from the first verse. Something. Now, there's an issue there that I missed on the first time around. Now, I've already timed the double track vocals with the lead vocal. Even though I've done that, any change that I make now to the lead vocal will instantly be applied to the double track vocals. So there's no reason for me to create the APT again. Now, let's make the lead vocal full screen and let's have another look at that section. Something. So here's where the note is. Let's just bring that up so it's in tune and let's smooth join those notes. Something. So as you can now hear, the dub vocals have instantly been fixed as well as the lead vocal. Now we've fixed all of these vocals. What I'd like to do is to have a double vocal over this section here. So the double vocal hasn't been recorded. Now what we could do, we could get the vocalist to come back and record that, or we can use Revoice Pro to create a double. So let's create a playback range again just over this section. And this time I'm going to right click, but I'm going to choose new doubler. Right, let's go to presets and choose factory presets. And what I'm going to do is create a stereo double. So let's choose stereo vocal loose timing. Now let's make sure we choose selected playback range and choose new process. Right, let's have a listen to that. Now Revoice Pro has fixed all of those vocals. What I'm going to do is to take the output vocals from Revoice Pro and get them back into Pro Tools. As before, there's plenty of videos on the Synchro Arts website which will show you exactly how to do this for your specific DAW. But before we do that, let me just remind you of how the vocals sounded before we processed them in Revoice Pro. Oh, big boy, you And now here's the finished result after processing in Revoice Pro. I really hope you guys got something out of that. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats and I'll see you next time. Cheers.